Hey, a player, have you ever been in a situation where you had the option to date someone, but you weren't 100% attracted to them? They liked you, they flirted with you, they were ready for you to ask them out, but something held you back. If you feel like you're wavering back and forth, not really sure what to do, let me walk you through three rules that you need to know that's gonna help you make that decision. I think it goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Attraction is not a choice. You don't choose who you're attracted to. You're drawn to different people for a multitude of reasons. So what does it mean then if you're only somewhat attracted to them? Well, it means that they have some standout qualities that you've really taken notice of and the other ones, not so much. This can happen if you totally get along with a person and you just mess with their personality, but physically they're not really what you're looking for. Or they are drop dead gorgeous, but trying to have a conversation with them is like scratching nails on a chalkboard Board. It is so awkward and boring. But despite all that, you may still want to date them. So rule number one is to be honest about what you want. Are you looking for something serious? Are you looking for something casual? Be upfront and explain that to them explicitly. It feels good when someone wants us and is willing to pursue us. In your mind, you might be thinking, well, I'm not really all that attracted to them, but it's a free, easy hookup, so I'll go along with it, which might make sense to you, but if that person really likes you, you're actually setting them up to get hurt. Personally, I think it's a pretty jerk move to lead someone on and have them think that you like them more than you do. So always be upfront about your intentions. It's gonna save yourself the headache, it's gonna save yourself from hurting someone, and it's gonna save you from gaining the reputation of being that guy that leads people on. Rule number two, if you're gonna date someone that you're not 100% attracted to, you have to give it time. That's gonna allow for their other qualities to shine and the things that maybe you're not 100% attracted to will start to balance out. Nobody is perfect. So if you're focusing on that tiny little thing that you don't really like about them, but everything else is amazing, you really need to dive in and ask yourself why. Why are you so hung up on that one little thing? It's easy to get sucked into what society is feeding us to believe the perfect partner is. Girls who are super skinny and stick thin and have no blemishes at all, if you start to believe that's what real people should look like, you're gonna miss amazing opportunities in front of you because those real people aren't gonna match up to your magical standards. And the reality is, as you start to get to know a person that you like a lot better, your attraction for them changes. You start to appreciate different qualities about them. And the things that maybe you were so hung up on before may Maybe have start to lessen over time. And look, I'm not saying eliminate every single standard that you have and just date the first person that says hi to you. It's okay to have standards, but try not to be so incredibly rigid about them. Allow for that flexibility because an awesome person may walk into your life that doesn't seem like the perfect fit right now, but as you get to know them better, things may change. And rule number three, which is a big one about dating someone you're not 100% attracted to, don't worry about what other people have to say. Other people will always have an opinion about that potential partner that you want to date. Don't allow them to decide your relationship for you. If you're on the fence about dating someone, but you're afraid your friends are gonna make fun of you or your parents might make a lot of negative comments about that person, I understand. I'm not here to downplay that scenario. It's a hard one to be in, but you need to ask yourself, whose happiness are you prioritizing, yours or theirs? You just might end up in a situation where your friends are teasing you for dating that person in the beginning. But guess what? Over time, if you develop a solid relationship with them where the two of you are happy, you're growing and you're learning with one another, what are your friends gonna have to say? Most likely they're gonna stop saying anything at all because they're gonna see that you're happy with someone and they're probably not. As for your parents, that's a tough one. All I can say is this. If your parents are constantly judging that person for qualities that you're okay with and you don't really mind, then the problem doesn't lie with your partner, the problem lies with your parents. And that's something they need to figure out on their own. And at the end of the day, if you still find that you're not 100% attracted to that person after being in a relationship with them, that's okay. Attraction doesn't have to be the main focus of your relationship. It could be so many other things like care, and compassion and kindness and helping each other grow. Every relationship is different. It doesn't need to be sparks and magic and awesomeness all the time. So be okay with getting to know that other person and seeing who they truly are, because hopefully they're willing to do the same for you. Attraction is always an interesting thing to cover because depending on who you speak to, you're gonna get wildly different answers. So if you connect with what I'm saying, if it resonates with you in some way, check out the video over there on the screen now where I'm gonna share more thoughts on attraction and how to navigate this wild world of dating, which is sometimes incredibly confusing. On that note, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.